So now, here we have a mechanical switch that when you close it, it makes a high side connection right there. So practical circuit, you wouldn't be using a mechanical switch, but um, you know, it could be a digital signal or something. High input there. Normally, that turns a PNP bipolar junction transistor off, and then it would be on when I release the switch here. But uh, we have an NPN bipolar junction transistor that converts that signal. So when we close the switch, we give a high input to the NPN bipolar junction transistor, and then it transfers over a low input to the PNP bipolar junction transistor, which turns it on. So now, when the PNP bipolar junction transistor turns on, it turns on the load though. There, we have that uh, current path. So we got the red LED, make sure you put it in the right way. Cathode is headed uh, to the negative supply through a 220 ohm resistor. Order doesn't matter. The uh, pull-up resistor over here holds the PMP bipolar junction transistor off. That's why it's off uh, most of the time. And uh, we need the 10K resistor to limit current when we turn it on. But in any case, that's holding it off. We have the emitter to the positive supply. So it's facing us, emitters to the left, base in the middle, collector to the right, right there. You can see the positive supply. And the resistor that uh, sends the uh, signal over to it, whether it is high or low. Now we have the NPN bipolar junction transistor. To get a uh, low signal to the PNP bipolar junction transistor and turn it on, we have to turn on the NPN bipolar junction transistor. That connects to ground and uh, we get that path over. So you can see the uh, NPN right here, it's facing the other way. So emitter is to the right. It has to go to the other supply voltage, negative supply right there, uh, base for our signal. And then uh, the uh, collector to the left over here, we have our pull up resistor. That resistor is for sending the signal. So it gives a high input until the transistor turns on to give a low input. Now, to turn the NPN bipolar junction transistor on, which will then turn the PNP bipolar junction transistor on, we have to give a high input to the NPN right there. And we're gonna need a current to limit it. We have a pull down uh, resistor right uh, right there at the bottom of the switch to the uh, resistor that uh, goes to the base of the NPN to keep it off right there. Make sure it stays off to avoid it turning on a little bit from stray signals. And it looks like it's doing a pretty good job. Usually my finger will turn it on a little bit. Um, but in any case, that's holding it off. We make a connection with the uh, switch right there that turns on the NPN bipolar junction transistor. We got positive coming to the base and then uh, we got that ground there, so it's uh, turned on. We got current going through that resistor, but it doesn't matter. We have a direct connection from the base now, making its way from the emitter to the collector, and then transferring over the PNP. And then that ground uh, signal that we're passing along right there turns the PNP on right there. So it's passing current uh, through there, all because we gave a high input converted to a low input input right there turning it on we remove that high input then we got a low input thanks to the pull up turning off the npn and uh, therefore given a high input to the uh, pnp right there turning it off as well so that's one way if uh, the circuitry you have responds to the opposite signal of what uh, you want whether it turns on or off you can just invert it with the uh, opposite type uh, transistor, PNP versus NPN right there. You can use uh, one to turn on, and uh, when that turns on, then it turns the other one on. It just works out that way. So in any case, uh, you see that from time to time. So I hope now you will recognize that and understand what it's doing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.